Hello everybody, my name is Beth and I am the Steadfast Stitcher and this is my floss tube channel where we talk mostly about cross stitch. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Can you believe that autumn is coming up this coming weekend? I can't, <laughs> but it is my favorite time of the year. Um, I like to spend as much time as possible out leaf peeping and being the tourist especially along the Blue Ridge Parkway. That's one of my favorite places to go. I hope you're looking forward to autumn and slightly cooler temperatures where you are. And I hope everything's going well for you. I have got some whips to share today, some new starts, haul, and stitchy kindness, stitchy kindness, and some plans. So let's get started. Oh, and I should probably mention, if you've watched my floss tube before, you might notice there's something a little different. <laughs> I cut off about six inches of my hair um, since my last video. Or I had cut off, I didn't do it myself. But um, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> and it's a lot easier to take care of too. So enough about that. Let's get started. So my new starts, my first one, was almost a saff, but just missed it by a little. <laughs> now, I've mentioned um, in a previous video that I am doing um, an ATC artist trading card swap um, that Laura Stitching by the Shore has put together. So if you don't want to see the artist trading card that I'm working on, you're involved in the swap, you can walk away for a couple of minutes or fast forward a couple of minutes <laughs> and you can skip it entirely. But artist trading cards are two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So they're little tiny things. And so I'm doing a swap. I'm planning on doing two. Um, one is going to be very easy to do because it's one color, um, no color changes or anything. But for my first one, I decided to take out an element of Harvest Tiny Town from Heart and Hand. And I'm doing the tree here and this house to fit on this little trading card. So in order to do that, it was 25 count over one, and I'm using all the called for colors, and there's a lot more stitching in this than I thought. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's going to be just to go across the width here, and then I've got some sticker decorations that I'm going to be adding to it, and um, the actual trading card is going to be kind of a burlapy. Um, burlap kind of uh, paper that'll be behind it and then this in front with a couple of autumn style stickers and then the other one that I'm doing is all one color and it's definitely a Halloween piece so I'm almost finished I've got the door left to do um, which also has a wreath on it and a little bit more of the house and filling in the windows so there's not a lot left but yeah, good number of color changes and a um, little more stitch intensive than I originally thought. <laughs> but I am enjoying it and I think it's going to make a really cute artist trading card. And in fact, it gave me the idea that I might separate some elements of this out and make um, little trading cards into kind of a maybe a banner or something to hang um, for autumn. I think it'll be really pretty. I love this design. I'm also working on Honey of a Tiny Town, which is really nice. But I'm not using that for my artist trading card. <laughs> so yeah, I should have that finished this weekend at the latest. Um, I did have plans to do an Apple Festival this weekend. But I'm keeping an eye on the weather because it looks like that tropical system that's coming up the coast is going to hit us with a lot of rain on Saturday. So there may not be an Apple Festival this weekend. So, and if I have to pause a few times, I do apologize. 
I had a little bit of a cold for a few days and it's every once in a while it comes back and bothers me, but I may pause for like a tea break or whatever. <laughs> so the next one that I started, I am also doing this with Laura stitching by the shore and I believe I think Bridget is also going to stitch this. She is um, in my Facebook group, Crafts and Books. But we are doing the Librarian House from Stone Street Stitch Works. And I love this pattern. It is adorable. So yeah, Sampler September. <laughs> and we are doing the hashtag Librarian Sampler Sal. Oh, I am doing this on 20 count or 18 count. Let me double check. 18 count Dust Bunnies Medium from Dying for Cross Stitch. And so this is where I'm at so far. So I'm working on the border and I thought the Jane Eyre needle minder was entirely appropriate for the library. Yeah, this is a great fabric. And I love, I'm keeping all the original colors. I'm not changing any colors in this. Just because I really like them. And it's got kind of an autumn vibe to me too, the colors. So, I'm enjoying this one. And that'll definitely be out again soon. <laughs> Pause for one quick second. Sorry. Yeah, so I was down with a cold for a couple of days. I'm finding I'm drinking. I always drink tea when I'm not feeling 100%. And this is a honey vanilla chamomile from uh, Celestial Seasoning. So it's a grocery store tea, but it's quite good. <laughs> now my third start, which I absolutely love and I'm a little bit obsessed with. Ah. is from Hemlock and Rye Stitchery and this is Thursa Goes Goth awesome <laughs> uh, Julie Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World had done Thursa Priscilla Dawes it's a reproduction sampler and she had done um, the front of the sampler where the colors had dulled from exposure a bit and the back of the sampler. So she did two different colorways for it. And then <laughs> she decided to do a goth colorway with really fantastic, vibrant, and fun colors. And the call for fabric was 40 count murky. I didn't have any of that, but I did have 36 count murky. And I got a nice little start on it, I think. But so this is where I'm at with Thursa Priscilla Dawes. <laughs> I love it. Look at those colors. They are so much fun. This is a really enjoyable stitch. Yeah, and it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, I am looking forward to putting more stitches in on this. But I think I got a pretty good start on it. Look, all the color changes are just so much fun. I am really loving this one. <laughs> this is a great pattern. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Oops, come on, get in the bag. That's that one. Now, what else did I work on? I worked on um, just a couple more pieces. Let's see. I think that's it. Uh, yep. Okay. So, I put in about 250 stitches into my Red Fox, which is um, from Stitches So Beautiful. And, yeah, I love this one. 
and it's still dark but it is starting to see some more color coming into it and it's really pretty um i am enjoying working on this i'm doing this on 25 count easy grid over one and i don't know if the color variations will show up in here yet because it's still dark but oh yeah you can see some of the other colors but this is really pretty i can't wait to work more on this that's part of my problem is that now i've got so many things i can't wait to work on <laughs> which is a lot better than losing my stitching bug it's you know when you have so many things to choose from and you can't make up your mind which one it's when you hit the wheel. <laughs> a tiny decisions wheel for me. Because there are so many things I want to put stitches on. I just love all my projects. And then the last one that I worked on was... Was that the last one? I think I missed... I could swear I'm missing one, but I can't think of what it is right now. I think I'm still in a little bit of cold brain fog. Um, I did put a little bit into and be kind to one another. This is from Needlework Press. And it's the second one in a three-part series. Uh, the first one is be exceedingly diligent. And then the third one is be a friend. But I'm working on this one. I only got a little bit done, but I did accomplish something. So, Ooh. all right. So, on this one, I've added in just the numbers and started on the second symbol there underneath. So not a lot done, but I did make a little bit of progress on it. And this one I am doing on 25 count over one, 25 count Lugana. And this is from Dying for Cross Stitch. And I believe she has started putting tags on her fabrics now, which she had didn't before. But I think this is either 25 count parchment light or dust bunnies light. I will have to go back and see if I can remember which one it was. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now for what I worked on. But... Um, I do have some plans coming up and some stitchy kindness and some haul to show as well. Now, first, I've got to show stitchy kindness because this just blew me away. I believe it was when I did a either my 1,000 subscriber or 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I gave away a t-shirt, a cross-stitch t-shirt. And Penny, who's one of my regular watchers and commenters, she's just lovely, um, she won the t-shirt. Well, as an early birthday present, she just, she made the t-shirt into a bag and sent it back to me. And I love it. Check it out. And it's, it's a big size, so it's, it's going to hold a lot. And it's definitely coming with me to the Queen City Stitch Retreat. So my perfect day, wake up, cross-stitch, eat breakfast, cross-stitch, eat lunch, cross-stitch, eat dinner, cross-stitch, go to bed, repeat. <laughs> I love this. And like I said, it's a really good size bag. And like the fun colors that she has on the inside. And it's super sturdy. So, yeah, this is definitely coming with me to the Queen City Stitch Retreat in a couple of weeks. And I can't wait. I don't know. Maybe I should buy the T-shirt again for myself this time. And I can, you know, I'll be a match set. <laughs> what do you think? But I love this. This is awesome. 
Thank you so much, Penny. This is wonderful. What a terrific surprise it was. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's go over some plans first. So this Saturday, I'm going to be starting um, a project with Stitches with Andrew. He's on Instagram. If you're not following him, you should be. <laughs> he is he's a very prolific stitcher and a beautiful stitcher. He does great work. But we are going to be starting um, Autumn Sampler from Crochetta Gogo. So yeah, first day of autumn, and it's first day of autumn. Sal is the name of it. So I've got all the threads. I just have to pick a fabric, and I'll be good to go. But yeah, I love all the elements in that. So I'm starting at this Saturday with stitches with Andrew. And then also this Saturday, I'm also going to be getting a little start uh, with Andrea and I think a couple other people in our group. And I don't think we have a cell name for it, but I will be starting Autumn Rules from Primrose Cottage. And I think I showed the fabric once before, but I absolutely love this. This is a uh, 20, it call, the pattern calls for 25 count over two. And I'm going to be doing 25 count over two with this gorgeous autumn fabric from Be Stitch Me. Check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's just beautiful. So I am really looking forward to just, just playing with this fabric. It's so pretty. So that's my plans for this uh, coming Saturday, this weekend, to work on. Now, sometime over the course of autumn, you know, before went before the start of actual winter, um, I have three other starts, four that I'm planning on, um, that I want to start in the autumn season, and one of them is from the book The Winds of Autumn by Blackbird Designs. This one here. And I am going to be starting... Oops, where is it? The Mighty Acorn. I just love this sampler. It is so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. That's one of my planned starts. And I have the fabric all picked out for it. Uh, let's see, I am going to be using Properly Primitive from Under the Sea, which is this fabric here. Having greens and browns, and it's really pretty. My next plan start, I'm thinking this is going to be a Halloween start. Um, well, that was, <laughs> sorry, Halloween was my original idea. But I'm thinking I would really like to get a start on this and bring it with me to my retreat, Queen City retreat. Hold on just a moment. A frog in my throat. All right. So I'd like to bring this with me to work on at the Queen City Stitch Retreat. And I was thinking on this one, I'm just going to do this on an even weave. And I'm iffy on whether or not I'll do the beads. But this is one of Nora Corbett's um, Bewitching, Pi Bewitching Pixies. And this is Minerva. And I love her. She is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm thinking I've got a couple of different even weaves in gray that I might stitch this on. But yeah, so I do think I want to get a little start on her before I head out for the Queen City Stitch Retreat and bring it with me. 
But yeah, she is very pretty. And this was a gift from Bridget. So thank you, Bridget. I really like her a lot. <laughs> She's going to be a fun stitch. And I love the color of her dress. Oh, and the owl in the tree. I think it's awesome. Now, October 1st, I'm going to be starting a sow with um, Debbie, who's in my group. And we are going to be doing um, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, Summer at Cranberry Manor. Um, I will show that in my next video, but that's our, she and I are going to start that together um, October 1st, and it's by Pansy Patch. And they have one uh, Cranberry Manor house for each season. Now, <laughs> this is the other one I'm planning on starting sometime during fall. And it's huge. It is a full coverage. I've had this for a while and I keep wanting to start it and I haven't done it yet. So I figured I'm going to get it started this year. This is uh, from Heaven and Earth Design, Cyril Machete, and it is Spirit of Autumn. I believe I showed this in my plans video at the end of last year. Um, I've had this for a while. I haven't kitted it up yet, but I will be shortly. Because I love foxes. And look at those guys, the whole family. I, it's beautiful. And the colors are gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the size from here. I'm reading it on the screen. But this is $6.75 by $4.94. My goal is to finish this before I'm dead. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a process stitch. And one I think I'll really enjoy with all these beautiful colors. So... You know, doing the salve with uh, Stitches So Beautiful and that Red Fox that I have and Sarah's Diner has really start relit my bug to do some full coverage projects. And I'm really enjoying the process on Sarah's Diner and both the Red Fox. And I'll have more progress to show on Sarah's Diner in my next video. All right. So that is um, plans, whips, new starts. I had more new starts than whips. And then I've got a little bit of haul. <laughs> Stitch Point Unfriendly in Greensboro. Love my shop. So I picked up some fabric from them and three new patterns. <laughs> Don't know when I'm starting them, but I'm going to enjoy them when I do. The first one that I got is Autumn. Autumn Quaker by Primrose Cottage. So pretty. And this one is just 81 by 79, so it's not big. It's very pretty pattern. And um, I'm trying to think. She's got the she used color and cotton pumpkin pie for the uh, thread. I think I have something similar to this from Weeks Dye Works that I will probably use. It's in my stash. And yeah, 28 count mushroom, two threads over two. See, this is going to be really pretty. Another pattern that I got um, that I hadn't, for some reason I've missed this one because it's just so pretty. Um, but this is from the Blue Flower. And it's called Forest Home. I love this. Oh my goodness. In case you can't read it, it says, Our roots are in the depths of the woods. And it is a quote from Emile Gall. And it uses DMC with a little Weeks Dye Works class and Classic Color Works. So, so pretty. I just love this design. <laughs> I love, you see the little beaver? He's taking out that tree. 
<laughs> I love that. That's adorable. <laughs> Little things like that just tickle me. And the other one is, well, y'all know if you've seen my videos before that I love Rosewood Manor. And um, I'm planning on doing a Rosewood Manor B-Day Sal for for my actual birthday in December. Um, I haven't decided which one yet, and I just complicated it because I've added another one to the list of possibilities. But this is her brand new Dreaming of Autumn Leaves. Holy cow. <laughs> is that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I just... I love this. It is beautiful. Lots and lots to it, but it is gorgeous. And then she gives you some ideas for smaller patterns that you can also do with this. I love this welcome one here too. And that's very pretty. And this uses all week's dye works. Which is gorgeous. And it is 198 by 198. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now my decision for which one I'm going to start on my birthday is made even tougher. Um, <laughs> Alright, so by the time I start those four that I laid out as plans, I will be up to 52, 51 whips that I've started for my 60th birthday. So... 51 of 60. So, yeah, I'm doing, I think I'm right on track. I'm not falling behind. I may even end up stitching a little more than 60, starting a little more than 60. But at the same time, I'm getting to the point where I really want to start making progress on all the things that I've started. So, I may keep it right at 60. I haven't made a final decision yet. So I did also get some fabric and from Stitch Point on Friendly. Um, she emailed me to let me know that they had gotten in some new 18 count from Fiber on a Whim. And of course I had to go check it out. <laughs> so this first one, let's see, let's get this first one is I got a fat quarter of milk and honey and I don't know if that's showing up really well but it's kind of a creamy color with like honey tones to it and yeah I don't think the camera is capturing it very well oh, sorry about that but it is very pretty now this one I got a fat half because um, I've seen it before and I absolutely love it. And we'll see if the camera picks it up. But this is Affogato by Fiber on a Whim. And oh, yeah, okay. It looks like some of these greens are showing up. This is such a pretty fabric. I absolutely love this one. So I got a fat half in 18 count. And yeah, I think this is gorgeous. I'm going to really enjoy stitching on that. In fact, I want to do a floss toss for that Autumn Quaker. Um, sorry, Autumn Sampler that I'm going to be starting with Stitches with Andrew and see how the colors look on this one. I might do that. And then the third one I got is gorgeous. And this is also fiber on a whim. And it is cobalt. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Those colors are absolutely stunning. I, yeah, I love this. Look at Laura, if you're watching, I know you like this one too. <laughs> but yeah, I... And it was so nice of Stitch Point to call me and let me know that they'd gotten in some new fiber on a whim. And, I, yeah, it's beautiful. I absolutely love their fabrics. 
Yeah, avocado, milk, and honey, and cobalt. I just made sure I got all the color names right. So. so that's all I've got for you today. Um, probably my next video on Wednesday, when two weeks from today, I'll be recording a little earlier because I'm going to, I took the day off and I'm going to get ready to go to Queen City Stitch Retreat, uh, check in with my mobile vet for the girls. And I've got a few things to do before I do that. So I will probably film a little earlier on Wednesday than Wednesday evening. So hopefully too, my lighting will be better because sometimes I'm like, it comes out a little weird. <laughs> But I'm definitely planning on spending more time with Thursa because uh, I absolutely love her. So much fun to stitch. And wishing everybody a very happy autumn. I know it's not a holiday, but it's the start of a new season. Pumpkin lattes, anybody? Me! Yes, me, please. Okay. <laughs> so have a great two weeks, everybody. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>